So I just wanted to share with you this tool that's exceptionally good at visualizing the data, the input that you insert into the tool. So to create uh, PowerPoint presentations, slide decks, infographics, animations, or even a fully functioning website with all the different tabs and menus, which is absolutely unbelievable. And this is based on any information, any data, whether it's your study, your case study, your results, your dissertation, maybe an article that you want to read or you have been reading, or any other information in any other industry, some sort of data or charts you are asked to prepare at work. So it's not definitely not an academic tool exclusively, not for students or lecturers, it's for everybody. And this tool is a SciSpace AI agent, something I have reviewed in the past. I keep coming back to SciSpace because it's clear that SciSpace is developing into this major, major all-in-one tool and major player in the field. They keep coming up with new things all these things are absolutely mind-blowing and I was completely taken aback when I experimented with this new option a few days ago. I tested different outputs, uh, tested different options, different functions to create these visualizations and I just want to quickly show you what it can do. So you can see here, for example, that there are some options. I'm currently in a chat about one of the inserted inputs, so it's asking me what else I want to do, but I've, I've already, it already completed some of the tasks. It's also running some other tasks, running and working on something I asked it to do. So I asked it to create a visual, uh, a video presentation of another article. And here is the general screen of this uh, tool, this AI agent, the starting screen where you can start. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. I can't even begin to think about the application of all these things, but I have decided to test a few of them. Uh, specifically the visual ones, so the websites and, and presentations, like I said. So let's have a quick look. So back to my article. This is an article that I that I wrote, I co-authored. So it's a published article. And what I did, I just asked it, I want to see uh, an infographic. So after all the thinking and working, it gives me the live uh, URL of this infographic. And this is what it is. So it's, it's almost, it's like a website essentially, but it's based just on the literature review. So that's important. It's just a literature review. Imagine you're exploring a new article maybe, uh, or maybe it's your homework, or maybe your boss asked you to prepare some information based on, you know, statistics and in the area, maybe you work in a council and you're asked to, it doesn't really matter. Just any sort of information you input. This was my article. I just didn't want to risk using somebody else's data. And this is just based on the literature review. As you can see, it's an article about EMI, English medium instruction, about the global growth uh, of language as a, uh, sorry, English as a global lingua franca, this sort of thing. Uh, it defines EMI, which is the key point of the article. So it's an academic, basically, approach, educational approach, uh, explains driving forces behind EMI. So it did all of this uh, autonomously. I didn't ask it anything specific. I never uh, specified what I want. I just said, use the literature review of this article and create this infographics, research gaps identified. You can see there's a whole bunch of things. And this is not based on the result. This is just on the fairly short uh, literature review section. So I do believe this is pretty impressive, but I'll show you what I really think is absolutely mind blowing now. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not an official partner of SciSpace. I wasn't paid to record the video, I wasn't paid or instructed to express any views. I'm just reviewing these tools. I do have access to affiliate links. If you want uh, to get it cheaper, there are links in the description. But like I said, this is not a sponsored collaboration. So let's have a look and I'll show you another article and what I did and what I got as a result because I was completely lost for words when I saw it. So this one was based on a draft on an article I've been uh, working on the last couple of months. I'm pretty excited for it and I'll share it I'll share it once it's live because I think it will stir things up quite a lot. It's about artificial intelligence, specifically about artificial super intelligence and the future of, of us as humans and AI. But the point is I use the existing article. I attached it here. I uploaded it here and I asked it to uh, develop a live website based on, on the whole article this time, the whole manuscript, not just uh, the results, not just the literature review, just, just, I specifically was, I was specifically very vague. So intentionally, I was very vague. I didn't want to give any instructions. And here is what it did. So this is a website, a website so good that I probably wouldn't be able to develop a better one. I know it's not if, if there are any geeks out there. I know it's not the best website out there, but it's, it's really good. If I scroll down, it's pretty interactive. So basically, 
don't be afraid, by the way. <laughs> Preparing to surrender. This will all be clear once the article is published. I'll let you read it. But the thing is, download paper, download PDF. There is a call to action, and it's actually based on these branding and marketing strategies because call to action is usually is recommended as in the right hand side at the top. You can see there is basically a summary and everything that we need, a framework overview. There is a summary of all the evidence and arguments this time because I asked to summarize the whole article. I, I mean, I asked to develop a website based on the whole article. There is even an AI development timeline, not something I asked it to do, uh, but it's based on what I talk about in the theoretical part. And then there's research highlights. I like to see my own quotes here. So <laughs> this is pretty cool. And then all other sort of thing. Again, don't worry, it's early draft. It's actually different now. It's a little bit different. Uh, these are my initial ideas. And don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid when you see uh, stuff uh, talking about surrender. But uh, the thing is, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Read full paper, view methodology. You can uh, go to different sections at the top, or you can go to the reference list. The reference list that's also interactive. Load more references. Again, it's uh, it'll take some effort for me to develop as as my website, but here you can just do it and. It will develop it for you in 10 to 15 minutes. It's a fully functioning live website. It will be there. It will be there irrespective of your plan. Your plan, when I mean when I say plan, I mean the plan that you pay for in this tool. So if you pay for it once, use it a little bit, develop this website, and then you 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 don't pay anymore, you become a free user. The website is still there, it's already there. So imagine just imagine the applications of that and, and as I said. Presenting it at work, creating a presentation for work, pre creating a presentation as a student, a research post, a research presentation, anything really. It's a, an exceptionally good way to market your research as well. And that's exactly what I plan to do once I'm done with my research. So uh, all of this is there. It's called AI Agent. I reviewed it in my previous video, on one of my previous videos. It can also write a report and can write a paper for you, a manuscript, not something I would recommend doing. Uh, but I'm just saying there is a whole bunch of things that it will, it will do for you. I will definitely go back and come back to it again, and I'll definitely come back to reviewing it again. But do let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new. Ask me questions in the comments or let me know if you've played with this tool or maybe some other tools because we all know there's a whole bunch of things these days constantly being released. I'm pretty passionate about these things. And if they are there, why not use them? And if you're new around here, consider subscribing.